We did our first story on the Youngstown Developmental Center in February of 2015 when the state of Ohio first announced it was closing. Tonight, almost four years later, we're reporting that the facility may reopen it and again will be used to help people. New details tonight on what may be called the Campus of Care. The property on County Line Road in Mineral Ridge that was once the Youngstown Developmental Center was this afternoon covered in snow. The sign remains, but there's no access into the 35 acres beyond the locked gate. It's in the state budget actually to sell it to the Mahoney County Mental Health Recovery Board for a dollar. Dwayne Piccarelli runs the Mental Health and Recovery Board, which in partnership with the Western Reserve Port Authority plans to transform the center into what may be called the campus of care. This is the inside of that, the larger place. You see the gym. Piccarelli says they've talked with the YMCA about running the gym, and he's also interested in finding nonprofit organizations looking to occupy the eight residential units. The nonprofits would be given the buildings, which in return they would maintain and guarantee 20 years of occupancy. They have bedrooms, they have a full kitchen, and they have bathrooms. So it would be perfect for some kind of residential treatment facility. Among the groups they've been talking with are Alta Head Start, Potential Development, the Mahoney County Board of Developmental Disabilities, Meridian Healthcare, Easter Seals, and Compass Family and Community Services. There is nothing in the state that, that helps our people like this building will do, this facility. Mahoning County Commissioner Carol Remedio Rigetti says it could be used by people all across Northeast Ohio and fits right into the neighborhood. It's not anything that will harm or upset the residential neighborhood. It just makes it better. No nonprofit organization has yet to sign a contract. The Mental Health and Recovery Board has until June 30th of 2020 to get enough commitments. That's when the deal to buy the land for a dollar expires. Well, if a nonprofit agency is interested in being part of the Campus for Care project, they need to contact Sarah Lone. She's the public finance manager at the Western Reserve Port Authority.